Welcome everybody to uh, Demo Days, the, the sequel. <laughs> We're gonna see about making this kind of like a warm-up exercise for for us before playing some of the more meaty games like Suicoden 2. Um, and this time we're playing uh, the MotorStorm demo for from, PS3. From 2007. Yeah, and this was the first demo that we got on our PlayStation 3 back when we didn't have any games. So actually, Joe, you should... I mean, we had Genji. <laughs> we had Genji. Uh, Days of the Blade. Because that was a bundle, bundle game. Yeah. I'm going to hand the controller to Joe because he was the one that played oh. the most MotorStorm back. Uh, oh, how do day. I... Uh, X, Joe. X? Oh, I see, I see. I was trying to go to options, use the DualShock. Um, the, the uh, or not the DualShock, but the... Um, six-axis. The six-axis function. So yeah, so this is something that was kind of... that Joe got really into, was riding a motorcycle in this first... or in this MotorStorm demo. Uh, and then they had six axis controls for leaning. Um, which people complained about, but as somebody who is has a motorcycle license, I can, you know, that's, it's pretty accurate. You don't turn the handlebars when you're uh, riding a motor, uh, motorcycle, you, you, you lean into the corners. So it, tilting the six axis felt very natural, I guess. So, although we played this demo a lot, we never bought MotorStorm. <laughs> uh, we haven't bought a single MotorStorm game, in fact. Well, that's okay. I heard this developer, you know, is going strong. Yeah, yeah. Um, we were the problem. <laughs> oh, For those who don't know, the developer has gone through a lot of trouble and is now closed, right? Uh, well, yes. Yeah, Sony closed them down, but then... Um, shoot, what's that... Uh, British racing developer. I'm not sure. Yeah, um, they were bought, and then they made uh, like what is it called, Onrush, recently. Yeah, and then they got shut down for good. Are you using the six axis? No, I'm not. I couldn't figure out how to hit to start, Joe. Go to the options, dude. Oh, okay. Uh, oh, here we go. Go to continue now. Okay, gotcha. Joe's rusty. Oh, yeah, I am. Whoa. Okay. All right. Gonna, Joe just sat forward. Uh, Woohoo! Oh, yeah, so this is something like... Okay, this happened to me in real life, which probably yeah. explains why I don't ride motorcycles anymore. Um, yeah, this was, like, really impressive at the time because the motorcycle uh, would, like, explode and parts would break off and the ragdoll of your character just rolling around. Yeah. So Havoc physics were still pretty new in 2007. Oh, shit. Shit. Yeah. So Joe did. It, I did, it may I, not I, seem like it now, but he did. I, used, he used to be really good at this demo. Yeah. <laughs> Mother. Fish tailing. Okay. I just need to get back into it. So kind of a weird thing, like when you get a new console and there just isn't many games out and just playing demos and like even for games that you would probably never consider or play like another ps3 demo we played was the ninja gaiden uh was it like ninja gaiden sigma 2 or something no it was sigma 1 sigma 1 demo um played that a lot and played just like some muso oh. games demo and yeah we didn't buy any of these games i think like the first shoot Let's see, what was the first PS3 game we bought? Was it Oblivion or was it like... Oh, it was, um... Shoot, there was that From Software RPG, right? Um, oh, Enchanted Arms. Yeah, our sis yeah, our sister got us Enchanted Arms, actually. Uh, yeah, it's, um... Mixed feelings about that game. Yeah, I played quite a bit of it. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I liked it at the time, but I mean, I think looking back, it was sort of... You know what else? What else do you got? Um, but I mean, from software, nobody knows about them anymore. No, <laughs> that's an interesting reversal of fate, isn't it? Yeah. Oh shoot! What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh no! Okay. 
Don't worry, Joe, you're doing really good. You're in first place. <laughs> I'm a POS. Um, yeah, I just, uh... Shoot. Yeah, I used to, oof. Real. I think what really, um, I think why we kept playing this demo specifically is that there's something about it that reminded me of one of my favorite racing games, uh, Jet Moto, mm -hmm. on the very first Jet Moto on PlayStation 1. Yeah, I mean, even kind of in like the, the way the, like you're constantly like hopping up and down because of the terrain is like how the, it's kind of built in the, the track. So it kind of feels like that, like, doll bobbing up and down thing. Yeah. Uh, and kind of my in my head, the dream project for these guys, just based on this one demo, was, guys, just, just make Jet Moto. You know, <laughs> and they were even owned by Sony, who owns the Jet Moto license. You know, seemed like a match made in heaven. But I think it's one of those weird things where maybe... I'm the only one that, <laughs> that really liked it. Yeah. Uh, and there were, I think it was one of those things where, I mean, I would play Motorstorm, but the, the, that first Jet Moto, oh, I'm turning around. Uh, it was really hard to play unless you picked the right racer. Like, like there were like a number of different racers with different stats, but only a couple of them were actually viable for racing. Mm -hmm. And the other ones were too clunky to use. So, I mean, I could see immediately somebody picking up and thinking, oh, this just controls like butt, and then we're playing it again. Yeah. For Motor Storm, in, in reference to Jet Moto. And probably Motor Storm. I don't feel like driving a car in this demo is ever very fun. I always like the motorcycle. Although, I, I never really cared for the six axis controls. Yeah, I'm. I am sucking it up. But I mean, at this time, I was still, I was still riding motorcycles, or when this demo was uh -huh. still a thing. Oh shoot! The game looks pretty primitive now. Yeah, like I have seen better phone-looking phone games. Uh huh. Yeah, it's crazy, like, how big of a deal, though, like, that ragdolling down a, 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 a side hill was, that, like, they slow have a slow motion of it for, like, a solid seven seconds of just watching the... And that was just, like, something that really set the, the PS3 generation apart from PS2 was that, you know? And, like, a lot of early games, ragdoll kung fu... Um, Oblivion, you know, it's like fun to just see that and mess around with like flopping models. Yeah. Um, I mean, I, I guess I'm trying to think of the first uh, game that I know of that used Ragdoll, and I think it's Half-Life 2, right? I'm not sure. And that would have been 2004. But I, I think it took a while for, you know, a whole dev cycle for everybody else to sort of catch on. And like they didn't, uh, they didn't use Havoc. I mean, that was a proprietary physics thing that Valve was using for Half Life, right? I'm not, I'm not sure of the history of it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if. I actually, I, I don't know either. It is hard to talk and do this thing that I suck at. <laughs> Well, well, we'll finish up this race, and then we'll probably call it a demo day. So that will be your demo day is Thursday. <laughs> I kind of feel like you need to play. <laughs> oh, you want me to play for once? Yeah. Dude, rocked it. You got first place. Candy Buzz Bomb. That was you, right? That's my rapper name. All right. Just retry it. Well, no, I'll do it different. I'll do the other motorcycle. Um, it is so funny to me that like all of the demos that we've played through the years how many games can you think of a single game that you were that you weren't previously going to buy and then just playing that demo made you buy okay uh, there are some that I was on the bubble like uh, Dragon Quest Builders 
you know, I love Dragon Quest, but I wasn't sold on the Dragon Quest Minecraft thing. Uh-huh. Um, and it's like, I'll just try the demo. And it's like, oh my God, this is amazing. Uh-huh. And, yeah. I, and I have to own this. Um, but I mean, it, you know, that was... I mean, I wasn't not going to, you know, it was... I mean, because, you know, there's... Look at that booty. Whoa. Cleft. Um, <laughs> because, like, the things that they're Dragon Quest games, like uh, Dragon Quest Heroes, that I'm like, I don't know. I don't like Musou games. Uh, yeah. I played the demo, and it's like, yeah, I'm not going to buy this. So, I mean, it's... Oh, dude, you are rocking it. Uh, you thanks can for use... jinxing me. You can use the... What the... Oh, you, you want to do the tilting? I'm Jacob. Doing, doing, I'm doing the tilting currently. Uh, no, I mean I'm explaining it to the listeners. Oh. Uh, uh, wow, that is that is a tight, tight jumpsuit. <laughs> wow, look at that texture. <laughs> okay. All right. Take um, like an N64 game. Um. What were you just telling, talking about right before that? Oh, hell. Oh, Dragon Quest and that. We were talking about trying to fin- find a demo that... You know, I played the Limbo demo. Um, oh, my God. I played the Limbo... Uh, <laughs> and the, and that's the Limbo <laughs> demo. And um, <laughs> I, I bought... It was like the, me- the prompt came up at the end of the demo that of like, do you want to purchase this now and continue where you left off? And it was like, yeah, sure. And that was, I think, the only time I've ever done something like that. And then it kind of sucked because I played through it all, but I didn't get a single trophy um, because for some reason when you did it through, bought it through the demo, you didn't get trophies, um, which was kind of important to me at the time. I was a, a trophy seeker. Now not so much, but yeah. I'll you know if I'm close to like a platinum or something. I'll... But any other demos, Joe? Um. Shoot. Um. What about like folklore? I remember us playing the folklore demo. You know what? I think that might have been one um, early uh, PlayStation Three game. Not a lot of people played it action role-playing game um and i may be remembering this wrong but uh uh koji okada the uh creator of shin megami shin shin uh megami shin megami shin megami tensei uh and persona he had left atlas and um was the creative director advisor on Folklore, um, kind of, and if you think about it, it's sort of the same premise as Persona, you know. Yeah. Um, you you roll into a town, and at night there are monsters that you can befriend. Uh, and you know, we weren't sure what to think of it exactly, and then we played the demo, and it's, you know, maybe not the most technologically advanced game, but it had whoa, nice speed. Had great art direction. Um, yeah. What's weird is, so I must have been like fifth grade about that time, for perspective. Uh, and I remember there was an assignment in fifth grade where we had to write our little short, a little short story. And I was so in love with like this, the idea and the story of folklore, even though I just kind of watched Joe play. That like I basically did a ripoff story of what folklore's was, <laughs> of like even rename like using some of the same character names, which you know. And then of course I was expelled for plagiarism, but yeah, no, I'm just, because your teacher was a huge fan. Of, yeah, <laughs> of folklore. They're like oh, they were the only one. I've seen this before. Oh, I forgot about boost. I wasn't boosting the entire time. Boost. I forgot about that. Yeah. You know what other racing game we got really, really good at? What? Oh, Wipeout? <laughs> Wipeout HD? Yeah. Or was it Wipeout HD or Wipeout? Uh, yeah, it's called Wipeout HD, right? Yeah, the, the PS3 one. God, we got good at that one. 
We actually, so yeah, we don't play many racing games. We were on the like the top. Yeah, yeah it must have been like top fifty leaderboards for Wipeout HD at one point for uh, our speed through one level. Well, yeah, just one of the levels, and basically what we'd do, uh, we had uh, downloaded, God, how many gigabytes of of CDs onto the PS3 yeah. to listen to them as custom soundtracks on Wipeout. And the, it seemed like there was to be even like something that changed a little bit with... God. Yeah, the, I think the lights would pulse to the beat of whatever song you would put in. Yeah, kind of like a little visualizer effect. And um, so we would like listen to yeah, just anything, ACDC or um, Dragon Quest music or... Yeah, and we would just swap back and forth every time. Well, it, it was like every time we, one of uh, of one of us beat the other's speed, we would swap, and then yeah, we just did that for a couple nights. Must have not must have been like a slow games month or something. Yeah, I mean it was a good time. It was a good time. This is so incredibly difficult. <laughs> you know, and most of the time I don't. You know. We never, like, I mean, I know I don't. I don't strive for, like, technical excellence when playing video games. Like, that's just not why I play video games. But occasionally it feels good to to be good at something, you know? Uh-huh. Um, and, yeah, Wipeout was one of those. But, like, going back, I, I bet we'd suck it up. And we got really good at this demo, although you wouldn't know it now. Although it has been... Come on, how that happen? Although it Oh, has... I blew up. I used too much boost. I blew up. Nice. There was sorry, we have the volume super low. So uh in fact, it might even be off. And I think when that boost gets too hot, it will like beep. So our listeners are probably like, "God, slow down. It's blaring at us." Yeah. It's a uh, it's hard to believe it's been 11 years. Since this uh, since this demo. Yeah. Or eleven and a half. Oh, Come you on. did it again. Come you on. did it again. Cut me some slack. It's hard, people. You know what is also kind of weird? So at this time, there wasn't the DualShock 3. Um, oh, no, Rumble. Was, that's right. It was just called the 6-axis controller. And it was, uh, for you know all purposes, it was the same design and everything. But it didn't have the Rumble pack in it. And the controller was extremely light. Oh, yeah. Like, extremely light. Weirdly light. And I remember feeling conflicted when we got the DualShock 3s. It's like, whoa, that's got some weight to it. And it kind of felt good. But, like, it also was like, I kind of missed how... Come on, how lightweight the old six axis was. Yeah, but those six axis controllers were, I think, also more cheaply made because it was uh, like the joysticks would like get bonked up really bad and like sticky. Remember that they would get stuck up forward. Yeah, and, like I remember. No, yeah, we, it when was... we were when also when we got the PS3, we had the PS2 backwards compatible one, uh, which at the time was the only one. Uh, and like mostly what we played was this and then PS2 games like Persona 4 came out and it seemed like we played Child of the Colossus for the first time on the PS3 maybe. Yeah, I, it was on the... Um, Not the HD remastered, but just the uh, PS, we played PS2 Yeah, games. the PlayStation 2 version. Because 2005 when that came out... And we didn't we, play we it might have, We might have started that on PS2, but our PS2 had died. Yeah. And then it wasn't until we got the PS3 that we finished it in earnest. Uh, All right, everybody. Well, that um, was MotorStorm. Yeah, That well, that was the MotorStorm demo, <laughs> more specifically. Well, as much MotorStorm as we ever have yeah, seen. That's, we played, you know, MotorStorm 2 demo, but there's no affinity for that. Yeah. All right, guys and gals, uh, we hope to see you in the next episode of Demo Days, and uh, bye. Bye.